Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry I'm late. My flight was canceled and then I... I'm so glad you're here. Uh, well, why wouldn't I be? You only got married once. Yeah, right. Can you help me with my hair? Uh, I'm nervous? No, why? You just asked me to help fix your hair. Okay, maybe a little bit, but can you clip back some of the loose ends? Yeah, of course. You know, it's okay to be a bit nervous. Everyone gets nervous. I mean, he's totally your soulmate. You're gonna have an amazing wedding. The honeymoon of your dreams, beautiful children, and you'll be happy. But that's what matters. I know he's the one, but that's not what's making me so nervous. What is it then? When I get married, will we still be friends? Yeah, of course. No, like real friends. Like we'll still go out Friday nights, go hang out, go shopping. Because you can't honestly expect me to deal with him every day. <laughs> Things will be different. For sure. I hope so. Of course they will. Your future man will have to get annoyed at some point. If I get married. You will. Your soulmate is out there. You just haven't found him yet. Okay, whatever you say. And you'll fall in love, get engaged, get married, go on some honeymoon on some exotic island like Fiji or something. And we're gonna have children together. And they'll become best friends and we'll be happy together forever. You, you never know. I might not get married. Okay, okay, fine. But you have to promise me one thing. What? That you'll never go away. In that moment, time froze. And a jumble of memories came flooding back to me from when we were kids and teens and becoming adults. I just saw all of our shared memories together. And I saw our first distinct memory, ladybugs. It was our first argument and it was over how many ladybugs we had found in the grass. You do not have 13 ladybugs. I do! Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, only five. I found nine, which makes me the winner. It wasn't a contest. You made it a contest. Did not. Did two. Did not. You always make everything a contest. You always have to win. You're just a spoiled brat. Am not. Yeah, you are. You're just a crying, spoiled brat. You are the worstest person in the world ever is. Go away, spoiled brat. Go cry to your mommy and daddy. I'm never going to ever talk to you ever again. And the next day we made up. And then we got into another argument. And then we made up again. It went on for a while, but we became the best of friends. Why are we always the bad people? Because they don't want to. Well, I don't want to either. I want to be the good person sometimes. Yeah, I get it, but that's how house works. But why? Because we're older, and because they're spoiled brats, and we can't play house unless they get to be the good people. Well, it's annoying. I want to be the good sister. Why can't we all just be good? There is no story without a bad person. Okay. Okay, fine. But next time, we're gonna write our own story. Promise? She always had these stories to talk. And whether they were true or not, it didn't matter to the rest of us. Because we believed her. It was like she was made for storytelling. She would always come up with the most random stories. It made her more exciting than she actually was. Especially when she was boy crazy. He said hi to me today. Oh God. Who? You know who. And? I think he likes me too. <laughs> because he said hi? You're making fun of me. I'm just being realistic. What if he never actually talks to you? Well, you haven't talked to your crush yet. And? You should. That's the only way you know if he likes you back. She was brave and adventurous and that carried throughout our childhood. But one summer, something broke inside of her. Hey, are you okay? Come 
on, come outside. Everybody is wondering where you went, and, and I, I don't know why you went inside. Come on, please. Sometimes she would come back outside with a smile and say that she needed a band-aid, but most times she wouldn't come back. That summer, it was hard because I didn't know what was wrong. But the next summer was completely different. She had completely changed, evolved into someone I barely recognized. But it was for the better. It was the best summer ever. You have to watch Gossip Girl, all the drama, the plot twists, the romance. Really? Yes, it's the best television show there is. I have an idea. Let's watch all of season one right now. <laughs> we talked more as we plunged into high school. We vowed to tell each other everything. The dramatic, the sad, and the good. You won't believe what happened today. What? He, uh, I don't know why he said that. Such a long time ago. Well, what happened? It's nothing. Whatever. Forget I said anything. But other times, she would shut me down completely. It was like something was haunting her, and she was constantly running away from it, but barely escaping. She would cover up her struggle with stories, naturally. And he tried to kiss me. No way. Yeah, weirdo, am I right? Guys are so weird. They won't talk to you one day, and then they want to kiss you the next. Guys are predators, but the real ones don't know how to get a girl. OK, there's some nice guys. We just haven't found them yet. But all guys, deep down, really want. Camila, seriously? Ew! They do. <laughs> Besides, wouldn't it be fun to hook up with someone once in a while? She dated a few guys, and I dated a few guys. We broke hearts, and we had our hearts broken. We succeeded at times, and we failed too. But we always had each other, and it made life so much more meaningful. At the end of her last summer before college, we spent one last day together. One last day together. Before she left, she hugged me. Oh, Hannah. I couldn't ask for a more beautiful person to fill my life with moments I won't forget. I didn't know it at the time, but that was goodbye. The years after were radio silence, and I didn't hear from her again until my senior year in college. Hey. Uh, hi. Um, I heard you were back in town and I thought maybe you want to get it a drink or something. Okay. Where? I'm near this bar uh, on Michigan. Oh yeah, I know where that is. I'll be there at five. Oh, okay. Um, I'll see you soon. See you soon. I was angry at her for all those years. She had abandoned me, and I still didn't know why. So when I saw her in the bar, I couldn't move. I couldn't say a word, so I just left. Maybe it was fate, but I saw her again a couple years later. We were staying in the same hotel over spring break. We had coffee to catch up, and we ended up staying in the cafe until 2 AM. She told me everything, all the parts of her story that I didn't know. Someone hurt me a long time ago, and I didn't know how to tell you. I was so ashamed and embarrassed, and I didn't want you to see me as this victim. So I pushed you away instead. College was this fresh new start for me. To become someone without having that burden on my shoulders, but I saw myself, and it wasn't me. You know me best, so I thought maybe if I told you everything, maybe I would stop running away. I realized that when she left, I was fumbling in the dark, struggling to find who I was. I thought that she had closed the door on me, but really her abandonment had given me the opportunity to blossom on my own. And I had yet to seize that opportunity. 
After our coffee, I traveled, went skydiving, and even crossed the Sahara on a camel. She stayed and she got engaged. I became this new person completely away from her. But she was my best friend, my childhood friend, and a real friend. So on one of the most important days of her life, I'm going to be there for her, till life does us part. Promise you'll never go away? I'll try my very best. How can I live without you? <laughs> you'll be just fine. I hope so. Are you almost done? Yeah, almost. Can you grab one more bobby pin? Yeah, sure. Uh, I don't think there's any more bobby pins left. They're in the other room. It's okay. I'm gonna go get them. Don't go anywhere. She walks away to a new chapter of her life where a new person awakes her with open arms. So I, I let her go, loosening my grip on everything we had because I know she's going to be okay. He's going to love her and cherish her as much as I did. And he's going to share a million moments with her for the rest of her life. As she walks into the other room, I smile. I smile and I think of the ladybugs. The ladybugs and everything that came after.